All right, 49ers update here from Levi's. First, a roster transaction. The 49ers have placed Daryl Johnson, who was a defensive end that they signed earlier this offseason, onto injured reserve. That is a season-ending move. And they signed Dalen Hayes, a 2021 fifth-round pick of the Baltimore Ravens, who spent the past two seasons over there on the East Coast. Notre Dame product, they've signed Dalen Hayes, the edge rusher, to replace Daryl Johnson. Microtransaction, but the roster is now full again. Before I leave the stadium today, one thing I really want to address is how to watch or how to track these practices and how to track training camp in general, because there's way too much prisoner of the moment stuff. People are living and dying by each practice. They think that each one's like the Super Bowl or something and it's gonna determine legacies. And, oh, Brock Purdy goes eight of 10. Oh, look at Brock Purdy, he's gonna go into the Hall of Fame. Or Trey Lance goes 12 of 13. Oh, Trey Lance has overtaken Brock Purdy as the 49ers top quarterback. And no, I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. First off, there's no real competition for QB1 right now. Brock Purdy is the 49ers top quarterback. The competition is for that second spot and two primary contenders are Trey Lance and Sam Darnold. But just on a more overarching point than that, it's practice. And at practice, you can afford to make some mistakes. You're going through your reads in a different way than you are during the game when the pocket's collapsing on you. You can take your time going from read one, read two to read three. Sam Darnold today, you know, really insinuated that a lot of these sack totals that people are trying to throw out there aren't that big of a deal. Neither are some of the interception totals. Now, I get it. We chart the numbers at practice intensively. And I started doing that a couple years ago because I wanted to illustrate something. I wanted to illustrate their splits between different parts of practice. There's the move the ball period, which is a lot more like games. Then there's the standard scripted part of practice. In 2021, Jimmy Garoppolo, the gap between him and Trey Lance grew pretty wide in the move the ball portions, right? And that's how we garnered the Garoppolo is a veteran he knows what he's doing in the move the ball period and trey lance was a rookie didn't quite know what he was doing yet in the move the ball period at the nfl level well over the years as i've tracked these stats we've been able to glean okay these quarterbacks are getting more and more comfortable as time is going along the 49ers qbs today they combined to be 38 out of 50 the accuracy was up you can tell something a little at least a little bit of something from those numbers but what you can't tell from each practice is a <laughs> player's legacy in his NFL career, right? People are taking this way too far. You have to realize that it's practice. They're working on stuff. We can track some of the accuracy. We can see how a quarterback is improving, what he's doing better uh, in, in every which season. But we can't make these broad, definitive generalizations and conclusions based on practices. It's, it's really maddening. It's really tiring to see people try to make something more of this every single day. This is about the flow of the whole training camp. That's how you track a training camp. You track the whole flow throughout the course of what? 15, 16, 17 practices. 49ers right in the middle of it right now. They think they're gonna start to see some separation and position battles once they face someone else. And that someone else is gonna be the Raiders in Vegas next week. All right, see you all later tonight and see you all at the stadium here for another day of 49ers camp tomorrow.